students welcome to mathematics class today we are going to start our first chapter from semester 2 that is more addition children we already learned simple addition in this chapter we shall see different ways of addition of one digit and two digit numbers our first topic is addition on the number line now let us see how to add a one digit number to a two digit number with the help of a number line. Now let us see some examples. Our first question is 23 plus 5. Here we have to add 23 and 5 with the help of a number line. This is a number line starting from numbers 20 to 30. Here we have to add 23 and 5. So we have to start from 23 and take 5 small jumps in a forward direction. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, we reach at 28. So, our answer is 28. So, 23 plus 5 is equal to 28. Let us see another example. 90 plus 4. Here we have to add 19 and 4. So we have to start from 19. Then take 4 jumps in a forward direction. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now we reach at 23. So our answer is 23. So, 19 plus 4 is equal to 23. Our next topic is addition by forward counting. Let us see how to add by forward counting. Now, let us see some examples. Our first question is 21 plus 3. To add 21 and 3, first we have to write 21. Then, draw 3 circles like this and count after 21. That is 22, 23, 24. Now we got the number 24. So our answer is 24. Our next question is 28 plus 4. Here to add 28 and 4, first we have to write the number 28. Then we have to draw 4 circles like this. Then count after 28, that is 29, 30, 31, 32. Now we got the number 32. So our answer is 32. Our next topic is addition of two digit and one digit numbers. Our first question is add 40 and 3. Here First, we have to write 14 and 3 in the tens and ones columns like this. Next step, add the ones that is 4 and 3. Here, you can use your fingers to count. So, count after 4 that is 5, 6, 7. So, you write 7 in the ones column. Next, add the tens. Here we have 1. Below 1, there is no number. So, we have to write 0 here. Then, add 1 and 0. We already learned that when we add 0 to any number, we will get that number itself. So, 1 plus 0 is equal to 1. So, our answer is 70. Our next question is add 50 and 4. Here also, First, we have to write 15 and 4 in the tens and ones columns. Next, add the ones that is 5 plus 4. So, count after 5 that is 6, 7, 8, 9. Then write that 9 here. Next, add the tens. Here we have 1. Below 1, there is no number. So, write 0 here. Then add 1 and 
zero. So we will get one. Write that one in ten space. So we got ninety. So our answer is ninety. Let us see one more example. That is add thirteen and two. Here also we have to write thirteen and two in the tens and ones columns. Next next step add three and two. So count after three. Four five. Then you write that five in the ones place. Then add the tens. Here we have one. Below one there is no number. So you write zero here. Then add one and zero. When we add one and zero, we will get one. So write that one in the tens place. So we got the number as fifty. So our answer is fifty. Now we are moving to our exercise part. Follow the example and fill in the missing numbers in each of the following sets. Here, forty-three. Forty-three is equal to forty-three is equal to four tens plus three ones. A, twenty-seven. Twenty-seven is equal to two tens plus seven ones. Likewise, you have to do this one. Next one, three tens plus four ones is equal to thirty-four. Next one, five tens plus two ones is equal to fifty-two. Likewise, you have to do this one. Next one, seventy-two is equal to seventy plus two. A, thirty-one is equal to. Thirty plus one. Likewise, you have to do this one. Next one, eight tens plus one ten is equal to nine tens. That is ninety. First one, two tens plus three tens is equal to five tens. Five tens means fifty. Likewise, you have to do the remaining. So children, today we learned about addition on the number line, addition by forward counting, and addition of two-digit and one-digit numbers. I hope you understood today's class. Thank you, children.